podcast for close how you're doing i hope you're doing well welcome to an episode of this podcast will kill you back when the mixing sound what's going on hope you're doing well keeping safe most importantly today i just want to talk about a couple of things uh mainly timo werner and the news that he's going to chelsea now i sort of guessed it when we kept to gallo until january which was a terrible deal for the club i like a gallo i think he'll do a job but to keep into January just holds us back in signing another striker. We do not have enough strikers. No matter how much you sugarcoat it, how much you want to say, oh, we got enough, we got Martial, we got Greenwood, we need another striker in there. And Werner, who can play up, up top at the front three, on the left, on the right, in the middle, would have been a fantastic signing. Chelsea signing Werner, already got uh, Ziyech as well, and they're already going after a couple of other players. They're improving, they're improving and they mean business. They're doing what a proper football club should do, which you guys should aspire to be thinking like because a lot of people are like, oh, we've got a Galo, we're so excited. This is this is Manchester United and we're happy to have a Galo until January. You know, Werner is a fantastic player. I've seen this guy live and he, he's a brilliant player. He would have added something special to our club. OK, we're not going to get him, but will we get Sancho? This is the big question. If we get Sancho, it might pap paper over the cracks, just like we did with Regalo, pa papering over the cracks. That's what we seem to be doing all the time, papering over the cracks. Keep the fans happy. Keep those top reds happy, you know, those ones who are happy, you know, just to have, not have a sausage in their bun, you know. That's the sort of fans I'm talking about, right? We need to understand who we are, who we are as a club. We're Manchester United and uh, Igalo is a short-term option. He should have been staying the nine games and then that's it. It should have been, that's it. Game over, on your way. Thank you very much. Sayonara, achieve your dreams. But no, Werner goes to Chelsea. Chelsea have improved already. Okay, and this is early days in the transfer market. You know what Abramovich is like. You know what Abramovich is like. He's gonna, not going to go out and just sign Werner. He's going to go out and sign other players as well. And you know that they're, they're ahead of us already in the league. And they're going to go ahead of us even more and more and more. And we're just standing still. OK, if we sign Sancho, it's good. But we shouldn't be signing one player and not getting another player. We should be building a squad. This is a squad game. It's a long season. We should be building a squad with with Werner, with Sancho, you know, with all the players. We should be getting as many good players as we as possible. Bennington is at one for the future. He's not gonna come in straight away. We need to sign established players. Like I would sign Havertz from, from Leverkusen. You know? I would sign Apicano. I would sign Kula Bali. I would sign all these players. You know, we have to build our squad. Our squad is weak. Because we got yeah, we got Rashford, we got Martial. Yeah, we got these Bruno, we got these players, but we got a thin squad because once those players go, we've got James and then we've got Lingard. You know, these players are just not good enough. I'm, and I'm just saying that it, as it is. And Igalo matching that, his goal stats don't match up to anyone else in, the, in, in, in Europe. They're, they're absolutely average goal stats. And can we rely on Igalo to do the business when the going gets tough? Because let's face it and let's be honest with ourselves when we broke up for this pandemic we had a very easy fixture list apart from Manchester City we played very average team Las Clints for example teams like that Las Links who I watched the other night lost to Hartford Hartfield at home and they're a very poor team and there's certain teams that we beat in in the last 10 games are very poor Manchester City that's the same Manchester City who dropped De Bruyne up because they're not really concentrating on the league they want the Champions League that's why we beat Manchester City, right? The Galo didn't play in that game. He came on off the bench, I believe. Yeah, so this is this is not good news for me and I. This is typical of the Glazers, typical of Glazers penny pinching, typical of Glazers papering over the cracks, and that's that. That should be on their gravestone, paper no papered over the cracks. That should be it. Glazers papered over the cracks. That if if any if any quote you know, out there, matches that of the Glazer, uh, let me know. Send me those those tweets, man. Let me know. Papered over the cracks. I think that says it all. I think that says it all about the Glazers. And I wanted to talk about also um, people talking about we won things under the Glazers. Yes, we did win things under the Glazers. We won the Champions League. We won a couple of Premier League titles. We done really well and probably one of our most successful periods in our history. But what you don't understand is this. We signed Cristiano Ronaldo in 2003. 
right? That was before the Glazers, prior to the Glazers came. Alex Ferguson had already been building his team up until that period. So when that period come, he had already built his team, right? Now, from then, we started, when we started selling Ronaldo, when we started, you know, building another team, the Glazers weren't there to be seen. We started signing Gabriel Albertan, as, as you can remember, players like that. Even, of, let's, let's face it, Van Persie was a, a cheap buy. You know, a, a fantastic buy and a lucky buy in one way, but it was very cheap and we hardly spent anything. And from, from that period onwards, we just went down and down and down and decline and decline and decline. Now we got ourselves into a position where our team is OK because we've buying one player a season, buying one player a season, 60 million here, 60 million there. One player a season. We're slowly building our team very, very slowly. You know, so we need at least four or five top of the range players to 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 counter a 40 point gap you don't counter a 40 point gap with just Jaden Sancho you don't we need players in there we need player who can challenge for the center midfield position because I don't think McTominay is quite there I think McTominay is okay and my doubts about him the jury is still out I think he's inconsistent that's expected from a young player but I don't think he's quite there as a world-class center midfielder which United should always aspire to have world-class players all over the pitch in particular center midfield this is the problem United you know you, we need world-class players and if we don't sign four or five players. I can't see us really bridging the gap. I can see us coming fourth if we're lucky we may come third. But let's 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 be honest, teams are improving and this is just the early days in the summer transfer window. Teams are going to improve and I think Liverpool will improve. I think Man City will improve and I think Chelsea will continue to improve. What are your thoughts about that guys? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're keeping safe. Uh, obviously, the Glazers are saving money and uh, putting all their eggs in one basket with Sancho. If we miss out on Sancho, it's bad, bad news. And this is becoming beyond a joke. We need to stop this, man. We need to stop this. We need to speak out. We need to stop being so uh, accepting of the situation. Because we are Manchester United. This is our club. This is We put money into this club because it's our club and we, we love our club. Now, just imagine we had all that money that the Glazers have been putting in their pockets right now. Where would we be? Here's the question. Where would we be if we had all that money that the Glazers have been putting in their pockets, taking shares at the club, blah, 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 and put in their pockets, giving it to their sister or their daughter, or whatever they're doing, to go and buy jewellery and Tiffany's. This is what they're doing, right? So where would we be right now if the Glazers didn't take charge? That's my question to you, right? Because we were very, 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 very rich before... Our own money as well. Net. Now we're in debt. Net to debt. Net to debt. What do you prefer, guys? So, Chelsea improved. Bad news for United. Werner would have been a great signing. I don't know care how, what anyone says about that. It would have been a fantastic signing. I mean, it, if you think about United right now, if we sign a Werner, if we sign a Sancho, sign a Koulibaly, you know, and a centre mid, we would have been up there. We would have been challenging. It's, it's very easy to say, but for the Glazers to do it, it means that they, they don't want to do it. They don't want to spend the money, which means they don't want, don't care what's going on on the pitch and they don't really care if we win anything as long as the money's coming in, as long as we qualify for the Champions League. And this is what I don't want us to become, a team that likes to qualify for the Champions League but not winning it and not winning the title because we're not going to win the Champions League. Right, if we're not improving, if we're not improving as a team, we're not build, bringing players in. We're not going to win the Champions League. And Ole needs to know that. Ole needs to address it to the board. I don't know if he has the the the, the, the strength to do that as a person. He's a very nice guy, but does he is he ruthless enough? Is he ruthless enough? That remains to be seen. Now, guys, thank you for tuning in. We've got a lot more things coming. I hope you're all doing well. And hope you're keeping safe. Yeah, you keep take it easy. Yeah, don't worry about a thing. Yeah, back with a mix and sell next time. Yeah, peace. Take it easy.